Good morning. Anyway, the bowl was still there. It did get dragged at one stage, but I don't know who done it. And I did hear it move a couple of times when I was in bed. So I'm going to look on the overnight camera and see if I can see who the culprit was. Jimmy is first to arrive, but that's normal for Jimmy being first. He takes the last egg. He's soon back again. And he's back again with Norman keeping an eye on him. Pip then turns up and Norman is still watching. Chip Chip is next to arrive. And Pip comes back with Chip Chip. Chip is back again and Daphne is behind her. Samba is here with Jimmy and Pip comes back. Jimmy is laid down as it is a dominance thing between the two of them, Pip being the more dominant. Once Jimmy is certain Pip is no longer around, he gets up, pees up the post and goes beside the car. Pip is then back again. Peggy arrives and Monty turns up. And he pushes Peggy. I've done it again here in slow motion so you can see it properly. I really don't know what that was about. I guess it's a hedgehog thing. And they sort of have a little sort of set to here as well. Again, I don't know what that's about. Chip Chip is back again and Peggy is eating from the bowl. Monty, or it could be Peggy, leaves. And Howie arrives. The hedgehog is over there on the left. Someone, and I would say Pip, is about as Howie does that crouching down the same as what Jimmy does. Again, it's all a dominance thing. And Howie runs off down the side of the car. Look where the bowl is. And now look, it's being moved. Jimmy is who we can see and I can't quite see who is eating from the bowl. It could be Chip Chip, but it could be anybody, I guess. I did then go out and move the bowl and secured it with two bricks. Chip Chip is back and she is eating from the bowl. Peggy is back again. I love the way she climbs up on the bricks. And Monty reappears also. Daphne is back again. I still think it's her that tried to move the bowl earlier. She stops for a little wee. Thank you. And thanks again. I'm sure she's on a mission to move that bowl. But if you look at the position of it, and you can see there, it has moved again. Pip is back again. And Chip Chip also returns. Daphne comes back again, goes over to the bowl. And she actually eats from the bowl. All right, it was only one mouthful. But that's definitely an achievement for her. Jimmy is back again. He doesn't have any problems eating from the bowl. And here is Daphne eating from the bowl again. Jimmy comes back. And whilst he's there, Daphne pokes her head round the corner. The cleanup crew arrive, five seagulls in total. And here we have three on the ground and one on the wall. And then one seagull and the magpie and pigeon waiting their turn. So as we've seen on the overnight camera, the bowl is easily moved, even though it's a crockery bowl. It is quite light, so I won't be using that again as I've just got visions of it getting broken pretty quickly. Tonight I'm going to use a couple of, I've got three, like shallow plastic meat trays. Um, so I'm going to try them tonight. Our friend Chris, who you've met before, is coming down in a few days. So she says she's got a heavy earthenware bowl that she can bring as well. Um, so yeah, we'll try. I'll just keep trying different things. I was even considering using the water bowl as a food bowl and then changing the water bowl to a metal one. But anyway, we'll see what happens. I'll keep trying different things. We'll get there eventually. Anyway, my finger 
is gradually improving there I think you can see it yeah you can see it better there it's um looking more like a burn I can bend it which is good I can touch it but I just can't touch that side bit at the moment and if I catch it it really really hurts but antibiotics are obviously doing their job so happy days Today's dinner is roasted sliced belly pork with some roast potatoes. Carol's got new potatoes, we've got swede and we have stringless runner beans and mine is pretty much the same minus the uh, Jersey new potatoes. Swede in the US you call it rutabaga so that's what we're having today with the jug of gravy. And here's my dinner all chopped up, smothered in gravy ready to go i do love my gravy look who's just sat there waiting oh he does remind me of biscuit jim here your plate's here mate look there's your plate come on jimmy oh there's a car coming down the road now so he is gonna run literally i know that Come on. No, look quite. Oh, he has come through there. He'll be back in a minute, no problem. And it's one of the really lovely neighbours up the road, and she's just waved as she went past. Okay, he's coming back. Come on, mate. Come on, then. It's okay. Come on. Come on. Jim, Jim. Come on. Good boy. Let's straight in for the sandwich. You're so predictable, mate, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you are. I think you made a mistake there. You ate a piece of chicken instead of sandwich. That sandwich is all gone now onto the chicken. Good boy. Yeah, he's going to clear the plate today. That's nice. Well done, mate. Proud of you, I am. Good boy. That's it. All gone. It's all gone. Yeah. Here you go, then. Right, and this hasn't long been out of the fridge, so it's pretty cold. Just for the record, all right? Looking to see what he was looking at, but I can't see nothing. Two enough, or did you want a third one? Because the last two nights you've just run off. Thanks. Do you want a third one then, Jimmy? <laughs> you are so, so predictable, but do you know what? I love you so much. Oh my goodness. You clever boy. Aren't you? Yes. I think you're going to drop that one, mate. That's it. You got it. And off he goes. <laughs>